my name is Frosty Jordan and welcome to the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Madan. I'm sure most of you guys know about this game. This is a recent horror game that every YouTuber should be playing as of right now. I believe this game was made from the same creators they made Until Dawn. Until Dawn is a horror game that I have not played yet, but I will play in the future. So what this game is basically about, five friends set sail on a holiday diving trip that soon changes into something much more sinister. Embark on a horrific journey aboard a ghost ship. As you guys know, I do not like horror games. I do not like horror movies. I still have yet to complete Resident Evil 2, which by the way, I will finish that entire game. I promise you guys. But I gotta ride the trends out here, guys. And this is a game that is trending right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. With all that being said, I'm super excited and actually really, really scared to play this game. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Here we go. Man of Medan. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Oh my god. Okay, guys, what shall we choose? Dubious, will I be rich? Curious, tell me about my son. Say nothing. Guys, will I be rich? That's what I'm choosing. Here we go. So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Dragon tile or bamboo tile? Oh my god. One resembles the brain, one resembles the heart, guys. I think I'm gonna go with the bamboo tile just because it resembles the brain, guys. Here we go. Press and hold RT to pick up objects. Okay, RT, what do I see? What do I see? Is that a fish? fish? A trout? A fish? It's a fish! What am I supposed to do with it? I'm examining it! What do you want me to do? Put it down? Oh, there we go. Your money Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Traits hey, updated. Let me get it going. So these are the traits. What traits have been updated? I'm confused. So I'm assuming this is the character that we're playing as of right now, guys. His name is Joe, and I see a whole bunch of traits. I see reckless, insecure, selfish, guarded, eager, and the current objective is to hear your fortune. Let's go ahead and go back to the story. Here we go. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Oh my god, use the R stick to aim and press RT to punch. Okay. 
Boom! Oh my god, okay. Boom! All right, hit him with the uppercut. All right, the timer ring shows how much time you have left. Oh, okay, I see. They're timing us now. Boom! The one, two, three! Conor McGregor! Wait, what? Oh, God, whoa! All right, there we go. Bob and weave, dodge, boom. Easy peasy. What you mean? I can't fight. Boom! Dodge. Hit! Oh, God! That was so close. Oh, my God. B! Oh, God! Yo, it's going so fast. It's going so fast. Oh! What you talking about? Come on. Oh, my God! Yo. Yo, the reaction time is insane! What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Ah! Is that the ghost ship? Hold in two! Cargo hold two! nuclear bomb or something? It's probably poisonous gas. Like we're taking off. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? Oh, my God. I knew it. It's gas. Poisonous gas, poisonous liquid. Ah, uh, zombies? Wake up, Joe. Joe, sick bay, 1.36 a.m. June 22nd. Oh my god, here we go. We're playing as him. Oh, we got something over here, huh? A picture? Can I examine this? Oh god, that's not the picture. That's the door. The door is locked! Ah, okay, let's go ahead and examine this picture, guys. What do we got here? Is that me? RT? Boom? Ooh, look at that, man! That is me! What's on the back? Two pops. Come back soon. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be coming back. <laughs> Let's just say that. I'm on this ghost ship now and it's all over, man. The poisonous gas has been released. What else do we got up in this room? I've never really actually played a game like this, guys. 
Let's go ahead and access the locker. Boom. Boom! Oh god! What the hell? What just happened? Why is there a dead body in the locker? A key? Give me the key. Yes. That's the key, guys. DJ Khaled. What do I do with it? Wait. What am I supposed to do with the key? In the back pocket it goes. Alright, can I examine this dead body? Who is this? This must be the doctor, guys, for the infirmary. Yeah, he looks very, very dead. I wonder who killed him. Like, what is going on here? What is going on in this ship, guys? It's freaking haunted. Oh, this is the key to the lock on the door. Oh, aha. Let's get out of here, boys. Let's go. Woo! We're free. Freedom. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, man. I'm sweating so much, guys. Can I go back there? Is that a thing? Oh, I can. Whoa, this game is so cool. What am I supposed to do over here? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Now we're going backwards. Oh, God. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Man, I thought he was going to kiss me for a second. All right. Oop. Where am I? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the Charlie! Hell is out there? Heard aircraft. A gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, we gotta go. First thing I would like to say, guys, is my apologies. I did not have subtitles on for the very beginning of this video, but they are on now. Let's go ahead and continue. We gotta get out of here, man. What's going on with this place? Hello. Go, 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 go. Where are we going? Oh god! Oh man! Keep calm. Keep calm. Press A and time it with the heartbeat. Oh my, what? All right, here we go. One, two. Yo, is this Guitar Hero or what? Oh God. <laughs> Who are you looking for, buddy? Oh, Jesus Christ. Murder that fool! <laughs> Yo! I didn't sign up for this. Why am I playing this game? This is so eerie, guys. Someone save me, please. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's continue. Where are we go? Oh god! What was that? That was a little boy. A little kid, man! What is a little kid doing here? I'm confused. This is a military cargo ship. A carrier. Where are we going, huh? Oh, God. Okay, here we go. There's something glowing over here. Can I access it? Hey, Charlie. Help. Press A repeatedly to force the door. I'm trying. There we go. Oh, my God. Fuck. No. Ah. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. What happened to you, buddy? Okay, let's continue. Around the corner we go. Where are we going? We gotta get off this Don't ship. Dead. Another stick? Who's the lucky winner? Uh, I don't know. Who is the lucky winner, huh? Oh my god, it's another body. That's what he was talking about. Oh, okay. Damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Oh my god. Buckley! Why are your eyes white like that? Oh my god. Okay, I cannot go this way. Wait, Charlie, where'd you go? Where'd he go? How do I get out of here? What am I doing? Can I access this door right here? Oh, he went through here. Oh my god, who's that? Who is that? 
Is that me? Oh, that's me! Oh my god, I'm tripping, guys! Oh, I thought that was me way over there, but I was coming down the stairs. Man, this game is weird. Look at these camera angles. So unique. All right. Hold LB to walk faster. Thanks for letting me know that now. Could have used that a long time ago. All right, let's get out of this place. Where are we going? So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> You look like a- Woo! <laughs> hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? Look at all these dead bodies! Joe! Shall we investigate, my friend? Thank God I'm not you, and you're in this game. Because I would literally cry right now. Tommy gun! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, no more ammo. Don't open it. Yo, don't don't open it. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! No! He's dead! Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? that all these guys have is hilarious. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. 
I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. Witty Brad, Alex's brother innocent. Motivated Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before down. The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, insecure? It's embarrassing. I'm just gonna go with that. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Wow, this guy's a douchebag. Uneasy, not good with people. Uh, I was invited. Um, uh, I'm just going to be uneasy. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Oh, shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man... The long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. All right, empathetic. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. <laughs> yeah. Relationship updated. There we go. Play that out correctly, guys. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? 
I don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh, give it some thought. Go with your gut. Go with your gut, guys. Always. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey. Excited Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, Reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> sorry to meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Another choice. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, cool. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. Do you ever do any diving before? Uh, never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Impatient Fliss, captain of the Duke of Milan. Courageous. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh, and I'm buying. Oh. Oh, he got curved, man. Oh, feels bad. Feels bad, man. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. <sighs> You, uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Offshore North French Polynesia. June 20th. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Oh my god, we're gonna go searching for the ghost ship? No, no, I do not want to do that. Frustrated optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? No, I do. I want to do this the right way. Uh, can't dive, who cares? Uh, no, I'm just gonna say nothing. I'm gonna say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We 
should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Maybe I should. All right, looks like we're moving. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> what about, wait, what? Oh, oh yes, I forgot. There's a quarters inside of this boat. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. Where are you at, brother? Brother, where you at? My bro. You in here? Oh, what is this place? What? what do we got up in here, huh? Shall we investigate? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. What am I looking at? Is that some cologne? This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Oh, this was a gift that he got her. Aha! Julia, you're so lucky. Can I grab anything else? Maybe this book? Okay. Interesting. I love books. A lot of information. Free information. Knowledge is power. Okay, let's close that. Where is our brother? Brother, you're not in here. Oh, God, get me out this door. I'm so freaking tall. I'm assuming up, uh, up, uh, look at that. Ring around the rosy. I'm assuming What's he's up? in here. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Yes, it did. Sympathetic, don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Why would that even screw up the trip? That is hilarious, man. Like, your brother is vomiting all over the place because he drank too much beer. Okay, what is this right here? Huh. What am I looking at here? Oh my god! This is what the curator was talking about. Uh, what do I do? What? I don't even know what that thing was telling me. I just saw our brother stumbling in the bedroom. Interesting. Okay, we're back, baby. What do we gotta do now? Let's talk to her. Almost got the gear good to go. All right. Concerned, interested. Need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. What you mean? She's beautiful. Why not? Supportive, making a fortune on this trip. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Oh, my God. There's a reason why that ship sank, okay? It needs to stay down there at the I'm depths, at the depths of the ocean, guys. What do I gotta do now? We're moving, baby. Let's talk to Conrad. Conrad, can I talk to you? Maybe not. What is this? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Sure, I'll take a look. This must be an iPad. Huh. What is that, an airplane? Looks like an airplane. Oh, that's not even the ship! Interesting. Yeah, it's an airplane, guys. Alright, that must be it. Let's back out of this. Put it down there. Okay. Can I talk to Conrad now? Because he is sitting hey. over here. Hey, back. Nope. Does not want me to talk to him, guys. Let's go ahead and talk to the captain. Here we go. Yep, she's glowing. Why are you glowing? Oh, no. The computer's glowing. Press the button. Wait, why? You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. Okay, all right. Can I turn it back on? You're not gonna let me turn it back. Okay, all right. That is, you know what, guys? I think I may have made a very, very bad decision there by turning that off. I do not know what that device was and what it helps us with. But okay, you know what? I'm freaking out for no reason. Let's go ahead and talk to the captain. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. 
Yes, I want to respect the rules. Sorry about earlier. Uh, tanks a lot. Yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little. We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it, but there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, just a little bit, you know, you know, I'm a professional diver, been diving for 20 plus years. Who do you think you talking to, huh? Self-assured. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, okay. I get it, how much? Uh, belligerent. Who's gonna know? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna pay. I'm gonna say nothing. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Don't you worry, all right? Who's gonna get in trouble? Why would you even get in trouble, all right? What do we need to do now? I'm so confused. We gotta keep searching, huh? Oh, what about this? All right. Oh my God. Felicia, Fliss. This is her information, her ID. So it looks like she was born in 83, guys. And she's 5'8", 120 pounds. I don't care about this information. Why am I looking at this? Put it down, don't steal it. We don't need that. We don't want no bad voodoo coming towards us. Okay. So now that we looked at that, is there anything else that we could do out here? Maybe talk to Julia? Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. All right, playful. <laughs> Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. <laughs> oh my God. Uh oh. Camera or baton? Ah, what do I do? Camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get it before photo. All right, kids, good to go. Oh, for the Instagram. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Talk to or take the selfie stick. Give me the selfie stick. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. What is she looking at? She really doesn't like us. But she has a point, man. We should not be investigating this area. Just no. Here we go. Boom. Taking a dive. How low is this airplane? Oh. You good? More or less. She bet Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Oh my god! No! Please, no! Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. 
Oh my god, man. This guy is a player, man. Very charismatic, if I do say so myself. Relax, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, it's a long story. Don't ask a lady about her money. Um, self-assured. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. I could do that. Impressed, it would be my pleasure. Here we go. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Wait, what? We're playing as Fliss now? Oh my god, this game is so sick, guys. Smack that like button if you're enjoying the series so far. We're gonna play this entire series. This is amazing. What do you want me to do? Let me go up, up, up. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's go down here. There we go. All right. Let's see how the brother is doing. Brother, how are you doing? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Disapproving. Go easy on the booze. Sympathetic. Hey, it's your vacation. Yes, it is my vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned probing. What do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Interesting. Well, there is a wreck there and there's a massive great white shark waiting to kill us, guys. Skeptical. How'd you figure it out? Impressed. Who got you into World War II? I got you into World War II. Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Oh, wow. Brad is very, very intelligent. I hope they respect the site. You can use those old stories? You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Aha, uh -huh, so that's some backstory, guys, on what exactly we're doing right now. Thank God it's not the ghost ship. This is just an airplane. What else? Ooh, why is this glowing right here? The restroom? Oh, a photo! Please! Give me some hints! Oh my god! What was that? What was that? Alright. It's gonna get hectic, guys, pretty soon. I can feel it. Alright, what else do we got up in here? Can I do anything in here? There's gotta be something for me, right? Can I access this? What is my viewpoint on what's inside here? The cologne. Perfume. Sorry, guys. Perfume. For the lady, huh? Nothing? Okay. The book? My favorite book. This is my favorite book. Alright, nothing with the book either. Alright. What a waste of time. Get me out of here. Let's progress the story, man. What else do I gotta do? So obviously I have to come in here to talk to Brad. Look at that picture frame, right? Let's grab this. Why are we snooping? Oh, God. What is this? What was that? What was that document? Was it important? All right, now we're on this side. Okay. Let's see if there's... Oh, I wonder, because we already looked at this picture frame, guys. Does she have a different viewpoint of what's going to happen? Let's go ahead and access this picture frame. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so we already got our hint from that. All right, let's go ahead and exit the quarters now, guys. There we go. 
Now I'm assuming I gotta come back out here, maybe talk to Conrad? Hey there, how's it hanging? It's hanging pretty, pretty well. Relax, taking advantage of your relaxation time. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. A man of many talents. Okay, curious. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> oh, romantic. I have to keep track of the dive, but... I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Pri oh my god! What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard! Fishing boat from the- No, that's not the Coast Guard! What is going that's on? not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Um, confidence. Uh, be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Wait! Did they just hit our boat? What just happened? Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Guys, are those pirates? Are those pirates trying to rob our ship right now? Is that what's going down? What's happening inside of this airplane right now? Oh my god! That is a dead body! Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. Julia, South Pacific Wreck Site. We can get in through there. X oh! Ah, fuck! I missed! Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Oh god, I did not expect that one, guys. Oh my god, man. Now do I gotta get a okay, shot or something? A second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Another picture frame. Aha! Devil and the deep, guys. So while we're down here investigating the airplane, they're getting investigated up top by the pirates, guys. What is this? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Um, maybe it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> maybe it is kind of dangerous. What is that document, though? Okay. You know what? Screw it! I'm going back, baby! Let me investigate the document. I want it. I need it. I need it in my life. Here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. Julia, please don't die on me! Oh, 
Oh, she could easily fit through there. Oh my god! Oh my god, what is that? We're good. We're good. I thought it was gonna latch on my face. Oh! Oh my god! something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that i am not taking another risk like that again i was fine chill out i'm fine see no problemo yeah what is this searching in progress searched area one clear searched area two clear searched area three clear oh <gasps> is this oh my god this airplane was searching for the ghost ship guys no way! They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh, okay. Okay, what do we gotta do now? Where are we going? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I saw something back here. Saw something back here. You know I gotta investigate. RT? Wait, what? Someone shot this airplane down. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Of course he will, man. Because why did this airplane go down? Who shot it down? You got anything else around here? Trying to investigate everything, guys. Oh, look at this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Aha! Alright! I feel like we're playing Uncharted, guys! Good God! Do I touch him? Hello, buddy! Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Shall we grab it? Oh, is that his wife? <gasps> oh my god. That's his wife. Wow. What the hell happened here? The look of things. They knew they were goners. They got shot down. Okay. What else do we got? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Boom! <laughs> oh! Okay! No! We only have one shot? What about the shark? Oh, we messed up, guys. We messed up. What is even in here? Oh my god! I think I wet my wetsuit. But life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh god. Wait, what is happening? We gotta get out of here now. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Oh, thank God. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. Will you marry me? Oh my god. We almost died. Astounded. Suspicious. You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... 
<laughs> okay, come on, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. Oh my god. Yes. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Yes, let's go. This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. I wonder what's happening up top. Where the other come from? Oh Wait. my god. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We... we have to decompress. Oh my god. Uh... No, 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 wait. Cautious, cautious, cautious. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Uh... No, 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 no. We cannot go. We cannot go. We cannot go. God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. We could have died just now. We literally could have died. Why are you paying the ocean? So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my God, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. The curator! How are you doing? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you! So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well. Certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Uh, cheerful. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Uh, yeah, let's plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. 
I was so worried you might say no. I almost did. I'm not gonna lie. I almost said no. Uh, reach. Of course. Uh, of course, I was gonna say yes. You dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Wow. I love you, Alex. I love you, Alex. What a beautiful moment, ladies and gentlemen. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. <laughs> okay! Jesus Christ, Conrad! The Coast Guard, uh, I'm just gonna say nothing. You know what? Why ruin the moment? <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Now we're playing as Julia, guys. So, and by the way- It'll be a man post-proposal. We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Let's go down the stairs. There we go. Where is this tablet at, guys? Two. I was talking about med school. Still. We're over the top, bro. They're having a very long conversation outside, guys. So. Let's see. What's over here? Oh, this is the bullet. Aha. Look at this. This is so awesome. Is it? I don't know if it's that awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Okay. Where's this tablet at, guys? Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. <laughs> right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, we only took a bullet and probably like a document. Uh, apologetic. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. 
I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, let's hear it. Why not? Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> Man, comrade is hilarious. Amused. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Oh my god. Changing the murder weapon? Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey. No backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. What was that? Oh my God! What just happened? A uh, cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Oh my god. Stormy outside, lightning, thunder, the whole nine yards. Make yourself right at home, why don't you? Ah! Ah! What is going on? Boom! Get off of me! It's the fisherman! 
They're back! Oh my god! <gasps> cool it, buddy! Oh my god! Why? The dude, the dude, the dude, the dude. There we go. We gotta take these dudes out. They're robbing us blood. Uh, uh, un ungag, 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 ungag. Right here, to the left, to the left, to the left. We all gotta be able to speak, right? Boom, boom. There we go. How convenient. So, you okay? I think so. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Uh I'm gonna untie him, guys. Get untied, like now. Oh, shit, it's not good. Come on. Oh God! Oh! Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. How to treat a lady. Oh yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? Oh I knew that one was coming. Stop! Please just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh... Please. Just stop, man. We we'll finish with him later. Beyond your best behavior, little man. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. Oh god. Oh god. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. And that wraps it up for the very first episode of Man of Madun. Oh my god, there's so much happening right now, guys. I cannot believe those fishermen came back. And they have literally kidnapped us. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Man of Madun. Hit that subscribe button which should be popping up on the screen right now. Join the family. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And remember, stay frosty. Peace out.